morning, you guys, and welcome back to a normal day in the life. We are at Marshall's Home Goods right now. I'm trying to show you guys. We're at Home Goods right now, and we are here because we are working on our entryway, and we need a couple of pieces. Um, if you guys, I have not announced yet to you guys, but. Um, we are starting a channel for Eminem Rustics. I've been announcing over my Instagram a ton lately. Yeah, yeah, mommy. But we are starting a YouTube channel for Eminem Rustics. I'll make sure that I link it down below for you guys. We're launching the blog along with the YouTube channel on March 1st. Daddy, and our first DIY is the board and batten that we've been doing inside of the entryway. Oh, I've also been doing like stories on my, on my Instagram Mama, over at Eminem Rustics, like showing you guys the step by step. And I'm going to be doing like an in depth blog post on it too. Um, but anyway. Welcome back to a normal channel video here. So, um, we're gonna head into Home Goods with the kids and see if we can find a mirror. <sighs> Alright, so I did not bring you guys inside with me to any of those stores. I went to Home Goods first and I completely struck out. I I am very underwhelmed by the decor options that I saw at all three of the stores that I went to. I went to Home Goods, Kirkland's, and Hobby Lobby. Kirkland's was probably the best one. Um, you know that, hey, that, it wasn't that one wall decor, that wall hanging, wasn't that kind of cool? With like the stuffs on it, like the, or like the um, shapes. Shapes? Oh, yeah. That tan one was pretty cool. I just, I didn't know where we'd put it. It was on sale too, but I was like, I have no idea where we'd put it. Pretty if that's what I was thinking, but I was like, ah, it needs to be longer, you know? So, so anyways, I was looking for, um, I was looking for a piece to either go, like, above the stairs in that big, like, empty space, um, and then I was also looking for a piece, um, for in the entryway, I was, like, I just was looking for something, like, black, like, I wanted a black metal, like, saying, like, something cute, not gather, because everybody has gather, but, um, I found a cute one at, um, Kirkland's, too, but, it was like good vibes only and like the middle part of the E was missing. It was only 15 bucks, it was a really good deal, but the middle part of the E was missing. So I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy something <laughs> that looks stupid. Um, anyway, I ended up buying, I found the black circle mirror over at Kirkland's. It was on sale for 60 bucks and it's pretty big. Um, and then I just bought this like macrame um, thing for, um, this cute like ear plant that Mike got me for Valentine's Day yesterday so I'm gonna hang that up in the entryway um, I don't know it's just like my my style just like I don't know it's hard to find things for my style I can usually find stuff at like Target you know I can usually find stuff at Target but anywho I'm craving french fries you guys so we're gonna go and get some french fries from McDonald's because McDonald's french fries are the best I know McDonald's is absolute garbage but they have the best french fries, you can't beat them. So, and I'm craving them, so we gonna get them. That's what we're gonna do. I can't believe that I walked, I know I figured she was sleeping. Um, <laughs> she came into, um, she came into Home Goods with me and threw such a fish. She was all over the place. I gave her a really good chance. I said, hey Kaya, we're gonna go in here. We're just gonna look at mirrors. We're not gonna get treats. We're not gonna get toys. And then we're gonna leave. And she was, she was okay with it when we were getting into the store for the first like couple minutes she was good and then she started to see stuff that she wanted and she just was darting off so we up and left i up and left i had a cart that had a rug in it that i kind of liked but she wasn't behaving so we just up and left so but that is why she was misbehaving is because she tired so anyway i walked out of hobby lobby spending four dollars and fifty cents this thing was like four bucks can't go wrong. And the mirror was on sale for 25% off. I'll show you guys when we get back to the house. Um, but it was an $80 mirror and I got it for 60 bucks. So pretty good deal. Anywho, I'm gonna get some french fries, go to the bathroom, and then we have to stop at Menards and Walmart still. All the errands today. But it'll be worth it once we are done because that entryway is gonna be beautiful. And because that is the first place that people see that's the first area of our home that people see when they come into our home i want it to be like wow worthy especially since we are m, m rustics and i we make furniture for people i feel like we need to have 
like kind of a wow factor entryway when people like come to our house to pick up their pieces. So that's where my head is going anyways. But um, Mike's done a really, really good job of executing this for me. I've been helping him obviously, but I, I just don't cut the wood. So anyway. Isn't my painting outfit so cute, you guys? This is like the cringiest hat ever. Sweet but salty. Or salty but sweet. So cringy. Movie Rikers right there, honey. Anyway, um, I'm in my painting clothes, my painting hat. Um, and before I get into it, I just wanted to show you guys. So I got this basket. I ended up getting this basket at Target. Um, super, super cute. And then I also got, um, a rug for outside on the front porch. I'll show you guys that here in just a second. Um, but I got that and then um, I got the mirror and then like the macrame thing. I'm gonna show you guys really quick. Um, a lot of this we're gonna be debuting like on the m, &M Rustics channel, but I'll give you guys a sneak peek. So like I said, we've been doing board and batten here. Can I sit behind you and throw this away? Eat lunch too so I probably have food in my teeth but. um so for valentine's day mike got me this amazing air plant i absolutely love it um but i got a macrame piece for it today at hobby lobby this is what i picked up and it was like four dollars and fifty cents at hobby lobby um but i am going to actually hang this like from the ceiling in the corner because it just needs to be in like indirect sunlight so um this should be a perfect spot for it i was I was gonna put it over there by the um, front like door, but the um, when the door opens and it's like negative outside, I thought it would be like way too cold. So, um, so that basket is actually it's gonna go down in this corner, and then I picked up that big black circle mirror, and that's gonna go right above here, and then. For the final, um, for the final reveal of the entryway, we will also be putting in a mud room on this wall. All right, so we will be doing um, that final entryway reveal with the mud room, and I'm hoping to find some more decor, decor pieces. I really, I've not been having the best of luck, so we'll see. Ah, you're gonna break that if you sit on it. Anywho, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm feeling a little discouraged because um, I don't know. Like I was really hoping to find a couple of pieces. I just wanted like some metal, like cool industrial pieces. But I might just have to make some of the stuff that I want myself. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I need to do some real Pinterest searching. See if I can find exactly what I'm looking for and then like go from there like exact ideas and then maybe just order from Amazon and stuff I don't know also if you guys have tips as to where to buy good real house plants leave it in the comments down below I'm actually this basket that is going to be for a real plant I would like like a fig fiddle whatever tree plant something um, I know they're really finicky though so I don't know, just any kind of like broad leaved, like cool, like very large leaved, um, like house plant, leave it down below. I know like Home Depot and Lowe's, but I've never seen any at our local ones that are nice, so. Anywho, all right, I'm gonna get to painting and finishing this up, and then I will share the rest of our night with you guys. It's gonna be pretty low key, but lots of DIYs and makeovers right now. Good morning, you guys. Okay, so I'm on day two of this vlog, um, and I meant to record more for you guys yesterday, but I got like super distracted with the entryway project, so which I will show you guys a little bit here, um, because I'm doing the reveal this morning on the M&M Rustics Instagram. Um, again, stay tuned for the DIY for that on our new channel, which will be linked down below. Um, Anywho, all right. By the way, we have officially switched Riker over to whole milk, and he knows how to get off the couch by himself now. Um, we just switched him over to whole milk, but he's still pretty picky when it comes to like his bottles and having it be warmed up. 
Um, I'm trying to find a perfect like sippy for him. And by the way, all of his Komotomo bottles have gone missing, so I'm just using this, uh, I almost called it Avino. <laughs> um, the Avent, Avent, whatever, um, natural bottle. Do you want this, buddy? Yeah, more. You have been a milk machine this morning. I think that's his third bottle within the hour. But um, this morning, or I wanted to mention to you guys, we're just finally getting back into the groove of things after coming back from vacation, which sounds like super pathetic, but um, we, so we got back on February 5th, which was a Wednesday, late Wednesday night. And then we went back to work the next day. Um, kids went to daycare the next day. Um, Anyways, we got back really late that night, went to work the next day. By Thursday night, I had the stomach flu really bad, and I was out of commission for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. It took me that long to recover fully and like get my energy back, so that was last Monday. Now I've just been like getting back into the groove of things as far as like work. Like I went to work on Tuesday, Wednesday was a blizzard um, and my office was closed. And then Thursday, Friday, I was working. So seriously, we've just been like thrown off track this past week. And we're trying really hard this weekend to get back on track. It's been really nice. Like Mike and I working on this project has put us like back into like the home state of mind and like getting back on track as far as like um, our YouTube and things like that. But um, I've got of course, a sink full of dishes. I always have a sink full of dishes to do. Um, we're gonna clean the house. All of the surfaces need to be cleaned. I need to put some like straggling winter Christmas decor away um, and start planning out for spring decor. Um, by the way, if you guys have any suggestions for these um, shelves in the background, we need to put this one up today. Ooh, that's a good project. Um, we need some ideas for these shelves. I don't know what to put on them. I thought about like the fake books and the whole nine yards, whatever. But anywho, also, we pulled this off our bed like once once a month, twice a month sometimes, and clean it down. And what the heck? Like, okay, so those are not pea stains on there anymore. They're from those like tied i don't know if you guys can see it but there's like yellow spotting on there same with our um comforter we use the what are they called like the downy like sensibles i think they're called um but anyways it stained our down comforter and it stained our um like pad too that's our like feather bed is what that is but anywho okay we've got some errands to run we're gonna get some breakfast and then we're just gonna hang out and clean for the day Hi, buddy. Did you turn one year old last week? I'm going to insert the footage here for you guys. Well, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. Um, Riker turned one last Sunday in the midst of all of the um, stomach flu chaos. Um, so I think this week I'm going to have to do like daily uploads to get caught up with you guys. Tomorrow is going to be the upload for the other Disney vlog. Tuesday, okay, good job. Tuesday Hi, will be Shadow. a normal, hang on, I'm gonna finish this sentence and then you can. Um, Tuesday will be a normal day in the life vlog and then maybe Wednesday I'll do Riker's one year update. Look at him, he's like, what's up? Um, I'll do Riker's one year birthday party and like do the throwback. Chandler, okay. guess up. We are, we wanted to do one we didn't tell you it. That was very sad though. Well, I took the picture with my friend. <laughs> and it was on my mom's shoes. <laughs> You're nuts. <laughs> what am I going to do with you? <laughs> Is that what you wanted to say to the channel? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go get some breakfast. Hi. Hot mess. Yeah. My hair is like crusty. Black. 
full of black and white paint. Oh, let's put that stuff down. Uh, all right, well, I'm going to show you guys what we have done so far. In the entryway, again, stay tuned to Eminem Rustics for the ultimate pull reveal for the next phases to come. Um, and the DIY is how we did everything. So to start with, I'm going to show you guys the wall. All right, so we did a half wall board and batten um, up like the stairway and the stairwell because I wanted this end of the hallway um, to have like a dramatic effect and have like a half wall with this big black mirror. Um, I got this mirror from Kirkland's and it is similar to the one at Target that you guys can find, um, but this one's a little bit bigger and it's a little bit better quality too. Um, and I got it for the same exact price. Um, the basket is from Target and the plant is from Home Depot. The plant was about 20 bucks and the basket was t like $20 as well. Um, and then we continued the board and batten all the way down the entry. So let's chat about some of the things in here. Um, this bench, we did a um, like we're gonna be doing a DIY on. I've got two baskets coming for underneath this bench that match this basket over here and that's gonna hold shoes underneath. We were gonna do a built-in mudroom. We might still, but this is more so kind of the feel that I was going for. So we'll kind of feel it out um, as we go and see if this provides us enough space, but but those baskets underneath should really help with the shoes. Um, now this bench, we got this live edge top from Dakota Timber Company in Fargo, North Dakota. Um, we got it actually on clearance during one of their sales for like 30 bucks a couple years ago and we've had it ever since, not really sure what we're gonna do with it. Actually, as soon as we got it, I, I'm lying. As soon as we got it, I knew I wanted to turn it into some kind of bench either to resell or to keep for ourselves. Um, so I purchased these hairpin legs off of Amazon, I believe for like 30, 40 bucks. So all in all, the bench costs us like at anywhere from like, I'd say 60, 70 bucks because I, because I just like can't remember the exact cost of those hairpin legs. But um, I just saw a bench super similar to this at Home Goods yesterday and it was 130. So I made it for about half the cost. Well, I didn't make it, Mike put it together. I just designed it um, and told him what color to stain it. But um, we've had, these materials on hand Scratch for a couple that. of years. No, you <laughs> I mixed the color. Yeah, but I told you. Uh, you just said, well, just I mean, something like the floors. <laughs> and I said, okay, that's pretty broad. So. Whatever. Okay, well, we'll let him take the credit on that one. So anyway, we got the bench, and then, um, like I said, we had like everything was on hand, so that didn't cost us anything except a couple years ago we spent the money on it, but. Um, and then I've had this for a long, long time from Home Goods. I have not seen it there ever since, but I still love it. Um, just telling you guys in case you wanted to go find it yourselves. I, I don't know if they would still have it because I got it quite a while ago. Actually, I got this before Kaya was born because it was for her nursery. Um, this sign was actually in here before. Um, I made this sign and then I just had Mike cut it down and then we put a frame on it because back in the day, as you guys know, I used to make signs. Um, these I had on hand as well, so none of this cost me anything. I already had all of this on hand in the house. Um, and then we painted the doors, and they're still drying, as you guys can see, there's still like some spots drying. But we painted the doors a dark charcoal color and I'm absolutely in love. Yeah, see like up the top here, it's still drying. Um, but I'm super in love with these. Um, the paint for these doors cost us $20 and the lanterns I already had, they were out on the front porch previously. Um, and then out on the front porch, I got a new welcome mat for like $17 from Target. Um, it was on super clearance because it used to be like $35. I've been watching that for a while. Um, other doors painted. Mike got me this air plant for Valentine's Day. So cute. And then I ended up finding this macrame um, like hanging rope thing from um, Hobby Lobby for like $4.50. Super cheap. So, um, and I think Mike got this for like what, $15? Yep, 15 bucks. So just in case you guys wanna know, 
that was the cost. So 15 plus 450 plus 20 plus 20 plus 60 plus 20 for the paint on the door, 17 for the mat. And then we spent probably $250 all together for the board and batten between the lumber and the paint and all the prep supplies and everything. Um, but the overall finished look is absolutely incredible. So what is that? So let's see. So that's 20, 40, um, 57. That was all done plus 60, so 120, 140, $160 plus 250 is what we spent on this entryway makeover, which I think is pretty dang good considering um, the rugs we already had. This is from Wayfair, Wayfair I think, or Rugs USA, one of the two. Um, and then this one is from Target. I plan on getting another rug to layer here. So that is the ultimate. Um, reveal of phase one of the of phase one of the entryway and I'm loving this plant too loving this plant I think that this is oh this corner I'm obsessed with hi guys still wearing my super cringy outfit from yesterday it's my painting outfit um, I still have some stuff to clean up here I've got like merp, like what is this texture that Mike put on the wall because um, there was like a big like gouge out of this wall finally took the tape off of the stairs <sighs> I'm exhausted my dishes um, are full the sink is full but this entryway oh this entryway is so bomb hurt you guys my camera battery is flashing at me but if you want to see the before of the entry entryway make sure you're Following me on Instagram, both on m, &M Rustics and my personal Instagram, I'll have them linked down below for you guys. <sighs> yes. All right, I'm gonna end this day in the life um, here for today. I will see you guys actually tomorrow for a Disney vlog, and then I will see you guys in a couple days after that for another day in the life. Okay, bye guys.